Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. <clears throat> and what I'm looking at is a beer from Bayou Tesh Brewing. They are out of Arnaudville, Louisiana. This beer is courtesy of Ronald Terrio of Louisiana Beer Reviews. Thank you, Jay. I will post a link to his channel in the description below, so definitely go check him out. If you haven't already, he does great beer, wine, and liquor reviews as well as other things on his channel. I have had one beer from Bayou Tesh Brewing Company when I was down in Louisiana last year. I had one called the Testicles, which was a limited release beer that um, proceeds from the beer supported testicular cancer research or um, treatment. And I believe I did a duo review with that uh, with David Garlapino on my channel. So if you want, you can go check that out. That's the only other beer that I've had from this brewery. So I'm very excited to try this. The Acadie, Acadie is a French farmhouse ale. 5.7% alcohol by volume. 20 IBUs. Let's see what it's all about. I do like farmhouse ales. Saisons, Gozas, Sours. Funky beers are definitely beers that I really like, so I think I'm going to enjoy this. I know um, Louisiana Beer Reviews did a review of this beer. I haven't watched it yet because I didn't want to be influenced one way or the other. I wanted to just kind of give, you know, first impressions, and then I'll definitely check out the review after I do my own here. Uh, the appearance, kind of a hazy, deep orange color uh, some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass very hazy about a one fingers worth of a frothy head on it the aroma a little bit of banana almost like uh, you would get like a Belgian beer, Belgian ale. Or more of a more of a Hefeweizen. That's that's what I'm getting. It's like a banana note that you get from Hefeweizens just because of the yeast strain that they're using. It's definitely got that type of yeast in it. Definitely banana. Wheat bread. <clears throat> doesn't really smell like a traditional farmhouse ale, necessarily. It smells more like a German wheat beer. I'm really not getting much else, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. It doesn't smell bad. There's just really not too much there. Cheers. Very nice. Getting those banana fruity esters, getting a really nice wheat malt character in the middle of the sip, very bready. It's not really sweet, it's very dry, almost drinks like champagne, very effervescent, very bubbly, very dry all the way throughout, especially on the finish. Super refreshing in that sense. At 5.7%, you could session this, you could drink quite a few of these. Very refreshing beer. No lingering bitterness. Maybe just a touch of bitterness kind of in the middle. It drops off very quickly. Um, it's just a dry, easy drinking beer. There's nothing really wild about it or crazy or super funky, kind of like I was hoping for. But it tastes to me like a, like a Hefeweizen with a lot more carbonation. Like... A champagne version of a Hefeweizen beer. Very effervescent. You can't really see, I don't think, on camera because of the haze. But there are a ton of bubbles going up the glass. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see that. Very prickly. Prickly, prickly carbonation. Banana, wheat malt, slight bitterness. Very dry, super dry finish. Crisp, clean, and refreshing. 
but it's not really, there's nothing really standing out to me. Uh, it's a 92. It's an A minus. It's nothing spectacular, but it's excellent for what it is. Just on the lower end, I wish they had, I wish there was a little bit of funk to this beer. Um, maybe a little bit more sweetness. A little bit more malt character, a little bit more bitterness, a little bit more something. It's just there's there's really not a lot of anything. It's it's well balanced in that sense, but I would like a little bit more, particularly with this style from, you know, just going off of my experience with farmhouse ales, saisons, you know, beers like this. Um, I've had much more um, flavor in, in some of the other beers within the style that I've had. That doesn't make this beer a bad beer, though. Like I said, 92 out of 100. It's definitely excellent for what it is. <clears throat> and it'd be a great beer to drink on a hot summer day. You could drink quite a few of them. Very refreshing and crisp beer. So that'll do it for this beer review. Thanks again to Ron Terrio of Louisiana Beer Reviews for sending me or for giving me this bottle in person when you met up with me a few weeks ago. I really appreciate it. I will post a link, like I said, in the description below, as well as right there. You can click on his uh, logo there and go directly to his channel that way. So that'll do it for this review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.